Hi there, this is my self-tape. I'm doing a monologue from Georgina Allerton in the film Dream Girl. Oh, oh, all right, mother, all right. I'm practically dressed. Maybe your mother is right, Georgina. Maybe it's time you cut out the daydreaming. Time you stopped mooning around and imagining yourself to be this extraordinary creature with a, a strange and fascinating psychological life. Still, to be honest, compared to the average girl, I'm really quite complex. Intelligent and well-informed too. And a good conversationalist. Well, for heaven's sake, honestly, some people. My legs are nothing to be ashamed of either. I have a neat little figure, really nice legs. Of course, my nose is sort of funny. But my face definitely has character. Not just one of those magazine cover deadpans. <sighs> but if only I could just stop lying awake for hours, dreaming up all the exciting things that could happen, but never do. Well, what if, what if this is the day that things finally work out for me. Maybe, maybe Wentworth and Jones will accept my novel. Wouldn't that be something? With a published novel, I'd really be somebody. Reviews in all the book sections, royalty checks coming in, Women nudging each other at Barney's, whispering, Hey, don't look now. You see that woman over there? The one with the really nice hat? That's Georgina Allerton, the novelist. <sighs> Gee, wouldn't that be thrilling? <sighs> to feel that I had finally accomplished something to feel that I had a purpose in life. Only, it wouldn't make up for Jim. 50 novels wouldn't make up for Jim. If only Miriam really appreciated him, but she doesn't. She doesn't understand him. What to do, what to do? Here I am, 23 years old, and next month I will be 24. And that's practically 30. 30 years old and nothing to show for it. I suppose nothing ever does happen for me. What a frightening thought, just to go on and on like this, on through middle age, on to senility, never experiencing anything. What a prospect. Thank you for watching.